Hello my friends and welcome to another painting video. Spring has finally arrived to Sweden where I live and I was inspired to make today's floral spring inspired painting. And to begin with I need to create a round guide in the center of the page and I'm using this lid to do so. Feel free to use any other round object that you have around and that fits your paper size. I'm using an A3 watercolor paper. And for brushes I'm using some mop, round and a rigger brush. Now I'm using the rigger brush which has uh, very long bristles meaning it holds more water and is suitable for um, painting or drawing these uh, longer uh, lines. Now I'm painting the flowers using the mop brushes um, and as you can see I'm utilizing uh, the side of the brush which gives you a thin drop shape and just putting them together to create these simplistic abstract flowers. I think this is a very beginner friendly technique and also very relaxing and fun um, so yeah just put the brush down press it down and lift it up and with the tip of the brush you can make some corrections if needed Now using the same technique, I'm painting another type of flower or illusion of it and I think it's very interesting to see how with some simple brush strokes and movements you can create different objects. A good thing to think about is um, contrast in your painting so this purple is a bit darker than the one I used before and the pink ones and creates a more interesting look also um, different shapes of the flowers different sizes um, creates a more dynamic and interesting look Now for painting the leaves, I paint some in the teardrop shape and some with pointy end. So this is another way of using the whole brush to paint the leaves. Um, and you see how we can get either pointy end or round end just with the way you move the brush across the paper.
now I'm using this smaller round brush um, to paint a similar flower but you will see how the look will be different so when I use the side of the brush now I get a more smaller or thinner shape and playing around like this is a very good practice especially for beginners I also find it very calming and relaxing I also like to combine different materials when I'm painting here with a colored pencil I'm putting some marks inside of these yellow flowers which makes them stand out a bit more and look a bit different than the pink and purple ones and to add more contrast I go over with a darker green and put some uh, marks and smaller leaves Now time to do my favorite thing which is splattering the paint like this. I load the brush with lots of water. Um, a good thing about this technique is that it sort of creates some texture and helps filling that white empty area. So I usually do this um, when painting in this style to um, get rid of that emptiness on the page and now painting my favorite birds swallows symbolizes hope and spring and again see how with some simple brush strokes you can create an interesting shape Thank you for being with me today if you enjoyed the video please give it a like to support the channel also i would love to see your creations so feel free to share them with me on my instagram happy painting and see you in the next one